Today we will be inviting butterflies to our home by building our very own beach bucket butterfly garden. <laughs> Say that five times fast. Before we get started on the planting, let's learn a few fun facts about butterflies. The butterfly has four stages to its life cycle. The first stage is the egg stage, which the parent actually attaches the eggs to the underside of leaves with a special glue. The second stage is the larva stage, which we know as caterpillars. The third stage is the pupa or chrysalis. And the fourth is the big, beautiful butterfly adult. Butterflies are insects. Most caterpillars are plant eaters or herbivores. Butterflies can live in the adult stage from anywhere between a week and a year, depending on the species. Butterflies have four wings. Butterflies have taste receptors on their feet. <laughs> Scientists estimate that there are between 15,000 and 20,000 different species of butterflies. That's amazing. Now after we finish planting our project, if you want to attract even more butterflies, maybe consider setting aside some space in your yard for a butterfly oasis. The best way to create an oasis for your butterflies is to plant many colorful nectar producing plants and flowers like the ones we have here. And also consider planting plants that would be host plants. So as we just learned, the butterflies also eat the plants and live on the plants. So we want to have um, some nice big greens for the caterpillars and we want to have some nice leaves for the eggs to be hidden underneath and we also want some nice sturdy plants that can hold the chrysalis so if you're planning a, a butterfly oasis we have some flowers that we would suggest that you use we've provided some in the kit and then there are many more that you can add zinnias are a top butterfly attractor and like I said, there are many, many more plants that you could add. There's a list that was provided in your kit, so just take a look at that if you wanna add more to your garden. Okay, let's get planting. You'll see I have three of the beach bucket kits in front of me. Everybody's will look a little bit different, different colors, different color flowers. You should have a zinnia, which is this beautiful tall yellow flower here. There's also some maroons and oranges in the kits. Uh, we have this plant, which is called a bee balm, or its botanical name is monarda. Uh, it has the coolest looking flower when it blooms. And then this one in the front you may recognize is the black-eyed Susan vine look at all of its little tendrils coming off here uh, its botanical name is Thumbergia that's a good one Thumbergia <laughs> when we are about to plant this we need to consider which plants go where and follow some of the principles of container design that we've been learning through our other kids club classes so if you have a plant that is nice and tall like this zinnia here, you don't want to put it in front of some of the other shorter plants because then you can't see them. So we're going to put the tall plants either towards the back or right in the middle of the planter. And then these mid-range or shorter plants like the bee balm, that one is going to be great to go off to the side or just in front of the um, zinnia because the zinnia is still tall enough. And then this lovely that is enjoying hanging over the side of the planter, we're going to make sure that we put them on the side so that it can hang over and keep trailing. So what we do to plants is we take our plants out. And then here's where we get dirty. One thing you might want to consider doing before you start putting your plants in is to actually take some of the soil out of the bucket. That way uh, you have more to add in and you can add it around the roots of the little plants. So I'm just gonna spill a little bit of soil out over here. Woo, there it goes. There we go, I like that. And then loosen up your soil a little bit. You dig a hole. I'm going to put, let's see, where do I want the front of my planter to be? Hmm, it's pretty cute all the way around. So we'll put a dig a hole here and I'm gonna put the zinnia in first. So the way that we take the zinnia out is we take his little tag, put it off to the side, and then you roll, 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 roll. And then if there's some roots down here, you might have to pull those off. 
you just lightly oh, pull it out of its container. And then you see the bottom, look at all of these lovely roots. They've been stuck in this container for a long time and they need to stretch their legs. So we're going to rough it up a little bit. Let those roots breathe a little more. Okay. This one here. And then take our V-Balm. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Oh, there it comes. Oops. Look, roots. Squish them a little bit. I'm going to put this one right here next to the zinnia. He's kind of tall, isn't he? And then this is our Black Eyed Susan. Roll, roll, roll. Keep a little tag. And then I kind of wanted this one to spill out the top of the beach bucket here. So I put it, I'm gonna put it over to the side a little bit. Right there. Look at that. Mm, super cute. Okay. And then, from here, if you like how it looks all the way around, this little Minarda can scooch up a little bit. And this one can scooch up a little bit. Cute. If you like how it looks all the way around, then you start filling in those holes. You see those holes here and back and back here. So let's do that. And you've got that soil you put to the side. Make sure they're tucked in nice and comfy. They like to be snug in their little bed. Your leaves might get a little dirty, it's no problem. The rain will clear it off, or you can blow it off a little bit. Ooh, look at that. Squish them down, make sure they're in nice and tight and happy. And then fluff their little leaves and their little flowers. All right, and that's it. You have planted a mini butterfly garden in a beach bucket. So now that we're done planting, what's the first thing we're going to do? We're going to give it a big drink of water. Water it and water it and water it until the water comes out of the bottom of the container. Then we need to find a nice sunny location. All of these plants love the sun. And then we're going to check it mm, probably every day in this warm weather to see if it needs to be watered. To check it, you stick your finger down in the bucket and if it comes up dry, that means it's too dry and it needs a drink. If it comes up with mud on there, then you um, just leave it alone and you can check it again tomorrow. And then it'll be fun. If you have a journal, you can go out to your mini garden and uh, keep track of your discoveries. See if you see any butterflies or caterpillars or anything around your garden. And that's it. We have provided you with the lesson plan in your kit um, so you could follow along and it also gives you the names of those plants that we suggest if you want to make a bigger butterfly garden. And then there's also a fun coloring page that has the life cycle of a butterfly on there so you can remember and color. If you are super proud of your project and want to show it off, please post those pictures to our Instagram or our Facebook page. We'd absolutely love to see your finished project. Thank you all so much for coming and I hope to see you again soon.